In this video, we're going to see how to clone the Git repository using the SSH method. We have HTTPS, which we all do. We do Git clone and then we paste the HTTP to clone this project. But in this video, we're going to see how to clone using the SSH. We're going to do this by implementing the SSH key if we don't have one. First, as per the step given in the GitHub docs, we're going to see what are all the existing SSH key. If we don't have an ex existing SSH key, we're going to generate the new SSH key and then we're going to integrate our personal laptop with the GitHub and using that, once that is done, we're going to clone the SSH project using the SSH key. So first step, see if you have an SSH key. That's what we're going to do. If we don't have an SSH key, we're going to generate the SSH key. And then using that SSH key, we're going to integrate our GitLab with that SSH key in our personal laptop. So let's see how to do that. As a step one, check if you have an existing SSH key by copying this command, open terminal, paste it, hit enter and see if you see any of the public SSH key. It could be in any of these three formats, id underscore rsl dot pub, any of the files in dot pub format. If you don't have one, we're going to see how to generate the new SSH key. So just follow the step here by clicking on this link and that would take you to the place where you can generate the new SSH key. So to generate an SSH key, we have uh, chosen Mac for this demo. You can also go to Windows, uh, etc. So you need to open a terminal and then copy this command. The one you see ED25519 um, is an algorithm which we are going to use as given by the GitHub itself. So what you have to do is replace the default email ID with your email ID that you have tied up with your GitHub. Then hit enter. So once you hit enter, it would ask you for the file location where you would like to save the key. You can hit enter to be to make it as a default location. You don't have to worry about giving the file location uh, customized. You can also do that, but I just hit enter as uh, suggested in this document. And then this one is fast phrase. Fast phrase should be your secret password to access this SSH, which we would be using in the following steps. So enter anything and hit enter now you can see the ssh key is successfully generated step three is to add ssh key to the ssh agent ssh agent is a key manager for ssh it will hold all the ssh keys that we have and it can be used via the ssh agent so let's see how to do that since i'm having a macbook uh, my os is above version 10 i'm going to follow the step number two that you see on the screen where we need to check if we have a config file in our machine so first we'll try open the config file if the config file doesn't exist it's going to tell us that the config file is not exist so let's see if if i have a config file or not let's type the command and then hit enter now you can see it says does not exist so when it says it does not exist i need to create a file so use the command touch to create a config file so when you created the config file open the config file you have to copy paste the command that is given um, in this uh, screen that you see so if you're if you are using a different name for your ssh key try to modify that here since i'm following this document from the start as it is so i'm going to copy everything as recommended in this document and then i'm going to save this file so once you copy paste it go to file and click on save and close this file once the config file is saved copy your ssh private key i mean add your ssh private key to the ssh agent and store your fast phrase by copy pasting this command at step number three now in step number four we're going to add a new ssh key to the git account so far we have generated it and we have added it to the ssh agent now we have to update it in our git account so in order to do that just copy the ssh key to your clipboard the easiest way is to paste this command in a command prompt or in a terminal and that would copy the key to a clipboard so you don't have to manually copy it once this is done go to your github settings and then click on ssh and gpg keys click on add and create a name for your ssh key in my case it's personal laptop and paste the key now if you can log back in 
and you can confirm that the keys that you have so this is the only key i have so that's all i can see now let's author let's test if the ssh key we added is the one um, that is at the working fine or not so in order to do that go to terminal and enter the following command so copy the command go to your terminal paste it and you can see uh, your ssh key uh, has been displayed i mean it should say the authenticity enter s for continue connecting and once you press enter you should be able to see your username in my case it's jagadish jayachandran in your case you should see your username of your uh, github so once that is done we can verify that this is successfully integrated between our laptop and your uh, github account in step 5 we are going to install xcode select i'll tell you why we need to install xcode select for example let's see cloning the project now we would end up with an error message so i have picked this project automated file moment uh, this is one of my project and i'm going to copy the ssh here just click on the copy open terminal uh, do git space uh, first you need to check out to the folder where you want to clone the project and then do git clone paste it so you can see the project uh, that so when i clone you can see the error message it says that invalid active developer path there is something wrong so i spent a little bit of a time in analyzing what went wrong i did a bit of a google search um, and here and there in uh, the websites uh, of stack overflow uh, etc so finally i found a solution that i'm missing the uh, file which is xcode select on my macbook so i need to install that in order to install xcode hyphen select space hyphen hyphen install and click on install agree and that would install click on continue on battery power this would install the file on our machine so once this is successfully installed this is going to take a time maybe uh, more than 20 minutes or 30 minutes depends on uh, your internet uh, performance so once this is successfully installed you can try git clone again in step number uh, six you can clone it so this time if you try to clone it you can see the project is successfully cloned and also when you open the finder where your folder is set up you can see all the files in the git github is successfully downloaded in that folder you can see all the expected files in your uh, apple um, folder as well so thank you so much for watching this video